Moving on to our next contestant, we have Martin Freach, who is an artist that specializes in subconscious marker drawing, and we'll soon find out what exactly that means. Mm. Hello, everyone. Can you hear me? Hi. We can hear you loud and clear, Martin. All right, perfect. We had some technical difficulties before. So let me start. My name is Martin Fritsch, but I created my artistic pseudonym Smart Thin Freak based on my typical features. And what I do is subconscious marker art. My art basically doesn't have any outcome which I would foresee. It's just a following of patterns and stories and basically drawing small bits and pieces and evolving them subconsciously without conscious censorship or without anything into the final artwork. So what's going on is I start drawing small patterns and small things, and eventually there is so many of them that I have no idea how to look at them as a mosaic of patterns and stories, but I have to look at the bigger picture, and then I start recreating the bigger picture without knowing what it's gonna be. I would say my inspiration comes mostly from, I don't know, people I meet and the world we live in, which for some people and sometimes might seem a bit chaotic and a bit rushy and crazy and full of stimuli. But when you, you have different, I mean, I have a different points of view on it. You can look at the detail and you can, you, you, you can look at the bigger picture and you can always choose between these, these two spectacles. And yeah, I would say the work I applied with, there are my three most recent works. One of them is the evolving complexity of being, which is somehow summarizing my whole life journey and my whole life experience until the point of creation. There are many moments captured in it. There, is, there are many emotions captured in it. And since my two, basically, my two most important values in my life are honesty and transparency, I was trying to, not even trying to, my subconsciousness captured them as honestly and as transparently as it was as I was able to. And the second artwork is the Mother of Snail. Mother of Snail is sort of a reflection of me. I'm a traveler and I'm always changing my place and location and people I'm meeting. And yeah, basically I'm sort of a snail surrounded by this amazing world full of magic, full of wonder, but at the same time full of grief and full of actual roller coaster of emotions and experiences. And the third artwork, it's a uh, introspection of chaos and in introspection of chaos i try to capture the story of basically lockdown and me coming back from china where i didn't succeed basically i didn't have a chance to succeed as an artist because the coronavirus started so i came back to my hometown to slovakia and i captured in these four artworks my whole summer experience after which i came to london and settled down here again so yeah that's pretty much me and if i have more time i would probably say that since my artwork or like art process is very subjective. Me, I managed somehow, I don't know how, to capture some very defining moment of my moments of my life without even realizing it. The whole process led me to a journey of self-discovery and yeah, everything I created so far, when I look at it backwards, like when I look back, I can see my life in it. And I think many people can find themselves in my artwork. That's it. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Martin. Very, Thank very you. interesting work there. Thanks. Your honesty and your transparency within your artwork. Let's go to over to our first judge, Richard. What are your thoughts on Martin's work? Martin, I love, I love the work. Um, I, it's very much, uh, yeah, it's a really interesting take on the kind of outsider art, the self-conscious, the kind of surrealism, that kind of automatic drawing. And I love it. It, it, it. it intrigues me, it pulls me in, it surprises me, it shocks me, it it kind of opens my eyes. Um, it it can look as though, you know, people think, well, it's, it looks like doodling. It takes so much effort to do work like that, where it comes together, the tiny little details you've got in there, where suddenly you're flipping between what looks flat into a three-dimensional space, into into complexity out of simplicity really love it martin yeah well done it's really thank great you. to see it thank, thank you. you very much you also summed up what i wanted to say about the complexity and 3d and 2d actually you i missed it thanks that's lovely so out of uh, from complexity to simplicity that's a lovely phrase isn't it let's moving on to gita gita what are your thoughts on martin's work hi martin um, hi how are you doing? 
your painting, your work shouts out genuinity and honesty, even if you didn't say anything about your characteristic, you know, earlier on. It, um, what I love about it is you're not letting go of the thread where it starts and where it ends. And, and I can actually spend hours looking at your work because um, as you say, all of us have been somewhere there and uh, one can relate to it quite easily. And um, wh what it is, what is so magical about it for me is that it's almost the same, the pace of mind as to how it works you've portrayed that, you know, so in an instant, you know, how fast the mind works, you can see that in your work. And um, all three of them, I really loved it. And the, the one with the uh, introspection of chaos in that one, um, you have the clock uh, in all of the four. So I was wondering yeah. if, whether it's something to do with time and space that you were trying to portray in that, you know, um, is it relating to pandemic or, you know, I don't know what, but I found that very interesting, sort of a melting clock there. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I can explain, like for me, time has been always a limitation because we live in a world where time seems like, a, I don't know, I find time being very limiting and very like defining my life because sometimes we have to rush throughout our whole life to different points and you know points of a life and it always seems like we are we don't have enough time and if you look like at the all the other artworks i think you can find time in each one of them there are some repetitive patterns and things and time is always there yeah and yeah it's scary but at the same time it's beautiful because that's all we have we have time we have one time I really love that reality of that. That's fantastic. Yeah. And I Thank love you. the last one. I found that a little bit humorous, the snail. Yeah. 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 I smiled to my face. That is uh, wonderful. I really enjoyed your work and all the Thank very you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Geeta. And finally, to our last judge, Sujata. I think almost everything is already said. <laughs> so I can add a few things to it that I really enjoyed this, your personal journey in your work, because not everybody does that uh, in this humoristic way and, you know, a little bit uh, surrealistic way. So I think it's very interesting and especially the work introspection of chaos. I think everybody's going through it. Some are projecting, some are not projecting, some are thinking, some are not thinking. But I think because of this 2020, everybody has this in their mind and in their system somewhere and everybody's a little bit struggling with it. So it was very interesting that you got it on the paper. And uh, it's nice that you take time because I think that's the most important thing. And the time gone never comes back. So I think it's very, very important to give that importance to the time. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, importance to time. So Martin, what are your thoughts on the judges' uh, comments? I'm very grateful for this feedback. And yeah, I would like to thank you all for giving me these nice words and sort of a motivation to go on and to draw on. What I would also like to mention, by the way, since that's sort of very important for me, let's say the biggest artwork I've made, and since I don't do conscious drawing, just subconscious, it took me only 30 hours basically to finish. It's very quick. It's just constantly drawing, let's say, for 10 hours, taking a break, and then 10 more hours to draw. So let's say in three days, I can finish the artwork like this. And as I believe uh, Lovigid uh, mentioned, it's like a one long flow of, yeah, brain, brain processes. So, yeah, thank you. you. Yeah, you've got it all. Brilliant. Thank you very Thanks. much, Martin. I wish you good luck in the contest as well.